While some energy innovators target large-scale production of electricity, a company in Lambertville is addressing micropower for handheld devices and sensors. Eliminating or augmenting batteries with energy harvesting, ceramic fibers is one of the fastest-growing parts of its business. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Hunterdon County-based Advanced Cerametrics continues to find new applications for its so-called active ceramic fibers, working with a growing list of customers. Much of the company's new business and its research effort, still located here though manufacturing has moved to the Midwest, builds on the way these fibers translate mechanical energy available everywhere to electricity. This technology isn't, you know, windmill uh, megawatts, it's not uh, solar panel megawatts, it doesn't feed the grid, but what it does do is it feeds the handheld devices and microcircuits that we need to power more and more in this country. Um, if we can replace the batteries or augment the batteries so that we use less of them, we're really contributing nicely to a clean tech um, uh, solution. They claim that new formulations of the composite fiber materials have made them 40% more efficient. And we're down to being able to generate electricity from sound or from mechanical action as small as sound pressure, like acoustics, to generate electricity to run electronic devices. One new contract calls for the integration of bridge monitoring sensors with energy harvesting ceramic fibers. If we can monitor the condition of these structures and transmit signals uh, without batteries off to a receiving station, we know the condition of those, of those structures and we can make things safer uh, and more reliable for people. Similar applications in roadways, factories, and vehicles have been proposed. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Lambertville.